are so happy you are here. Here are a few things to keep in mind so that everyone is able to fully enjoy the show. 1. This show will end in time for you to catch the 5 p.m. bus, so don't worry. 2. Foods and drinks are not allowed in the theater. 3. Absolutely no phones, cameras, or other devices may be used during the show, but don't worry because the show will be available on ASIJ TV. Thank you for coming and we hope you'll be ready to sing your own song.
drop off these brownies for my mom. I stole my toe, Edwina. I heard there's a kid my age who lives here. You must be here, my sister Katie. She's at the Michigan Camp for her Mazel and moved into Lansing. Oh, well, I heard you were moving in next door to the best piano player in town. Do you give piano lessons? You must be here, my sister Myra. I'm sure I can talk her after the show. Oh, then, oh, you must be that drummer I heard this morning. You sound great. You must be thinking of my brother Joe. Oh, well, who are you? I am Edwina Spoonapple, advice giver extraordinaire. Perhaps you've heard of me. Not really. <gasps> Would you like to join our show? No thanks. No thanks necessary. Now, Bobby, let's just get you started on the opera, and there's a big tap number, and... You can't eat fire by any chance, can you? Fire! <laughs> Dear Edwina, can't you see who doesn't want to do it? A little stage fright never hurt anybody. Oh, forget it. Hold the curtain. Take five, everybody. Thank, Thank you, guys. I'm going to think about what to do. Gee, Edwina, this is really important to you, isn't it? I couldn't possibly understand.
Boy, oh, that is much too scary for you. Tell it, tell it. Come and listen to the story of the strangest of nights in a faraway kingdom called Shaker Heights. Shelly Melly had a birthday that was coming to pass. And invited all the kids in her grade school class. The kids arrived at sundown with gifts in tow, and they started off the party with a puppet show. But just before the curtain came a knock at the door, you thought all the kids were there. 
But there was still one more. Frank and Gas, open my present. Frank and Gas, when do we eat? Frank and Gas, I hate puppets. He was a Frank and Gas. The party went on, and Frank was in top form. When they served the applesauce, he said, I want my more. When the hot dogs arrived, he said, Hamburger, please, and I only eat my burgers with flavor cheese. And he shouted around the table, I'm a waterfall. And he sprouted cherry Kool Aid over one and all. When the ice cream was scooped and they brought out the cake, he said, I need the biggest piece. Plus one for my pet snake. Ranking us. Ranking us. Stop it. You're scaring him. Ranking us. He swallowed a guinea pig hole. He was a Franken-gas What's the thing that makes him so
don't know how to set a table? Why, it's easy. William, Sonoma, send me a hand. Fork. Have you guys figured out who the talent scout is yet? I'm not sure. I think it's that one by the waiting pool. She was smiling the whole time. No, that's my troop leader. Then if we want, we need an usher for it. Ten four, Glenn Soup too. What about my guy over there? He's smiling and applauding. No, that's my cheerleading coach. Blend the flip one, we've got some box office overflow. Can you tell me what we got to rectify this situation? Bender flip two, we're looking at two more lawn chairs, a deck chair, an inflatable tire, and a spin spin. Bring it all out. That's a copy. That's a copy on your copy. What about that man over there? Which one? The one with the Kalamazoo advice that plays the baseball cap on. That can't be him. He's sleeping? sleeping? We're back! <laughs> Edwina, dear 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 Ed
Ferguson. Dummy Blue Parade for Hergenberg and Ferguson. I've got the perfect summary. I'll the chorus of saying, hello. That's right. What's more important than saying, hello. Lola Lopez lives in Lima, lovely Lima in Peru. Lola had a cousin Harry, way out west in Honolulu. One day Lola got a letter from her cousin way out west. If you come to my birthday party, Lola, that would be the best. So on an airplane, Lola flew.
public? Gosh, there are a lot of people I like to thank. The little people that sent me all the way to the top. That fisherman I met last Sunday. The hey, Zabbit. Myra. Autonomous Adventure Food Festival? I'm sorry, we're not taking calls right now. Give me that 
Speakerphone, speakerphone. Hi, kids. Sorry I had to run, but I want you to know that was the most beautiful thing I ever heard. Why, thank you. In fact, I think we found a spot for you in the Kalamazoo Advisorpalooza Festival. What a talent! What passion! What a range! Scott, you'll be just perfect to sing the national anthem at the opening ceremonies. Scott, but what about the rest of us? Oh, that's all we need for this year, honey. But what about Dr. Joyce's brother's last minute cancellation? We got a new group in from Montreal. Advice du Soleil. Advice du Soleil? They stand on each other's heads. It's fabulous. I'm not going without my beloved Edwina. Now, Scott, we have a million things to do. No. We've got a meeting tomorrow with the Detroit Free Press. No. And we have to discuss what you're going to wear to the gala opening. No. Of course, Jennifer Lopez will back you up on the national anthem. No. Really? I'll have my assistant swing by the Dairy Queen in 15 minutes to pick you up. Come with me, Edwina. It's a right spot. We'll always have pop off. It's all right, Edwina. It's a great show. Good luck, too. We still have fun. The dance must go on. Dad are going to freak. Who cares about a gold medal in trigonometry anyway? You do. It's been your specialty since the third grade. Well, I'm never doing another math equation as long as I live. What? Come on, start from the beginning. Well, we are getting ready for our multiplication trials and Sarah Connor was sitting next to me. And next to her was Mary Kay Hooper. Isn't that the girls you beat out for all state champions in division division? Yeah, anyway, we are getting ready her and Sally became super best friends for the week. And as we finished our equations, I had to finish first. Of course. I brought my answer to judge and everybody clapped. All right. All of a sudden, Sally whispered, I hate that girl, Kate. She thinks she's so great. And you heard her. Everyone did. And Mary Kay nodded. Maybe you just imagined it. No? Well, all I can tell you is, for a bunch of math champions, those girls sound pretty stupid. Just forget it. Katie. <laughs>
very hard to make their talents fly. It's hard when love gives so much joy, you make you cry. But hold on tight to who you are. Don't lose that joy to please the crowd. And if they still don't understand, you have to sing a little louder. Just sing your own song. Five minutes on the videotape, I think it's time for an ant encore. Come on, everybody, sing! Everybody sing! 